Are you someone who looks for the best, even among something as simple as t-shirts? You're definitely among friends here. Welcome to Quite Optimal. Hello guests, Ritzy Bellhop here, and today we're gonna to be looking at the best t-shirts to buy on a per dollar basis. Now, I suspect some of you may have come here because you saw advertisements for brands like True Classic Tees, or others which claim to be a premium t-shirt that fits noticeably better than their competitors. These type of brands employ a business strategy where they take an ordinarily affordable item like soap, t-shirts, pillows, plastic lens sunglasses, and then they spend a ton of money on advertisements developed to prey on their target demographic, usually by being particularly humorous and or exploiting the common insecurities found in that demographic. And then they slap an inflated price tag on their product, not only to pad their bottom line, but also to recoup the costs of their advertisement campaigns. So when people buy a premium t-shirt, what is it they're actually paying that $25 for? It's not manufacturing quality, it's the production quality of the advertisement they saw. Hope it was worth it for them. But the rest of us who would prefer not to have the cost of ads bundled into the price of our t-shirts, I recommend the Model 6210s by Next Level Tees. Like those premium t-shirt brands, the 6210s have a very flattering cut that's tighter around the arms which prevents that curtaining effect that happens in most similarly priced tees. But unlike premium t-shirt brands, next level tees cost $10, or even less depending on the color you choose. And there are dozens of colors to choose from. After buying two single shirts to test the brand, I was so impressed that I ended up buying a bundle of six more. As for color choice, I decided on Bondi Blue, Charcoal, Indigo, Midnight Navy, Forest Green, Storm, Cardinal, and Military Green. The only one of the colors I absolutely cannot recommend though is the Military Green. While I love Military Green for teas, whatever formula they use for this particular dye chemically reacts with deodorant. And so I got this weird discoloration around the armpits after the very first wear. The other colors I bought have not had this problem at all, even after dozens of wears and washes. Hello guests, Ritzy from the future here, and I just wanted to let you guys know that after I finished putting this video together, I actually went out and tried to find another color to replace my military green because of that discoloration problem. And the first color I tried was this stone gray, but unfortunately, although I like this color too, it also suffers from that discoloration in the underarm area. This color I'm wearing now is the heather gray, and I can confirm that it does not suffer from that discoloration problem. So if you're going to buy a green shirt, get forest green, not military green. And if you're gonna get a gray shirt, get heather gray, not stone gray. There's absolutely no print on these shirts inside or out, which is great because print on t-shirts almost always starts to degrade before the fabric does causing the shirt to look super crummy before the functional life of the shirt should have been over. I mentioned the inside of the shirt because some brands will print their branding near the inside collar. And while no one other than me would see it, I still do see it and I'd prefer not to. The branding on the next level 6210s is on a small tag on the inside collar that is easily ripped off, leaving nothing but clean fabric behind. As for material and feel, these shirts are a blend of 70% cotton and 30% polyester, and they are very soft and breathable. I wear a small and I did not notice any significant shrinkage after washing and drying. In order to determine if the length of the shirt was still appropriate even after washing, I did some bends and stretches to see if the shirt still covers the midsection. I'd say it performed well for me in this aspect, and I'm six feet tall so I imagine it would perform even better for most other people. Tees are foundational to any wardrobe, and with the next level 6210s, I'm sure you will find that foundation to be quite optimal. If you'd like to watch some more unsponsored videos on optimal living, I've left them for you just to the right of the hat rack. And should you ever have need of a Ritzy Bellhop again, you can summon me by ringing that secret bell that appears after hitting the subscribe button.
the stone gray. If I can get it off the hook, 